Good afternoon. This is your boy Wolfgang. One three oh five. But um I was sitting down going over all these videos. Yes, I know I owe you guys a video. What happened in upstate New York. I'm still working on it. I've just been quite busy trying to get my scooter up and operational so I can go riding during the summer. Um, there's a video that has been posted online about this streamer who went to Japan and made fun of and said some racist things to a passenger on a subway train. That is uncalled for. That is just unnecessarily. And that's something that he should have never had done. He should have never um, made those remarks, those racist remarks that was just uncool. Right now, he's a moving target. And um, he already been confronted. He had his tail between his legs, the first encounter, because I've seen different other videos. Um, he got attacked. He, um, no, wait a minute. Let me back up. That's the third one when he got attacked. Or oh, the fourth one. They went to his house. They went to his hotel. Um, they confronted him. They, um, found out where he lived and he came outside of his um, place that he was staying at or renting out to renting out or um, the dude he's black had his tail between his legs and he thought he was all big bad and tough with an S on his chest but he got shook like literally shook sorry about that you can see half of my face but um, is that even better that better okay all right let's see um either way he went to japan for whatever god world reason i don't know we will never know but he thought it was cool to sit on a subway train to make fun of a person a passenger just minding his own business listening to his music and just going home or probably going to work. But he sat there and made fun of this passenger. First of all, anybody that goes to any other countries, soon as you leave government soil, respect the culture, respect the people, and don't say anything stupid like this guy did because he is obviously is so fucking dumb he's a moving target as like people have been posting videos of him and he's been posting videos thinking like oh it's so oh, i'm big bad and tough Rawr. i have an and you know like this and s on my chest i'm like superman yeah, it's funny how, like, when he went over there and started making these rude comments and posting it online, you don't think these people are going to find you? Are you serious? <laughs> he got attacked. I don't feel bad for him. He deserved what he got. You ran your mouth. You're in a different country. And they have laws over there that... Um, are different from the U.S. There might be stricter laws over there and different rules versus the U.S. You should have stayed your black ass in the United States instead of going over there and messing with those people because they, you, they could eat you up. You could be turned up missing. Um... You are in their land. You're in their territory. And who do you want to call for, for backup? You have your 
so-called friends are in the U.S. They're not going to come over there and bail you out or help you. They're going to watch you post um, racist and stupid things online because you want to be all big, bad, and tough. But you called up one of your friends. What are your friends going to do? You literally called your friend and posted it online saying... Um, this is what happened to you, so on and so forth. They're not going to get involved with that. They're not going to just get up and like, oh, yeah, I'll come over there and I'll protect you. No, they're staying. They're smart. They're staying over in the U.S. You brought that upon yourself. And what you should do is take your black ass and come back to the U.S. You're going to be get a lot of hate. Um, don't go to any Asian restaurant you are never going to get served any Asian food I guarantee that for a fact they already saw your video um, they dislike you you already got attacked you should have never ever ran your mouth you should have left that person alone you should have never um, said anything about that culture you should have just sip it enjoy your trip over there learn about the culture and um, take um, all the resources they have over there like enjoy the luxury of their um, anime enjoy their food enjoy the history they have you will learn a lot but no your dumbass went over there to start race using some racist shit so I don't feel bad for you you brought that upon yourself and you got your ass hit and got water thrown on you. A dude on a motorcycle rolled up on you. Like I said, he had his tail between his legs and still ran his mouth. I wouldn't be surprised if um, a car rolled up five deep got out and beat the daylight out of him. I would not be surprised. You brought this upon yourself. Even officials didn't want, um, didn't, um, they know who you are. They didn't, they're not gonna stop that person because you said some racist sh shit and you offended them. That's the worst thing you could have done. Oh my God. Why would you do something like that? You offended a whole um, group of people of a different culture. You are just dumb. Sad thing is, you're the only black person over there amongst all of them. You made an apology or video. No one didn't even buy that. You weren't sincere. So someone had bring you to a place where you had to get on your knees and um, apologize for what you had said. Was that sincere? Probably not. You're still being ignorant. It's like you wouldn't like it if you were down south and you were like in an all white neighborhood with real racist people like with KKK skinheads and you went to that whole neighborhood and ran your mouth you are not going to make it I guarantee you that for a fact. Don't think about like, oh, I'm going to call my friends. Your friends are not going to come down and get you. You brought that upon yourself. You thought like you were going to be cool running your mouth and disrespect another culture. You need to, to understand like... 
you could turn up missing any time. They, they already rolled up at your house, place that you were living, and they had a translator at that at your place, and you had your tail between your legs, and then after that, you. Um, I'm going to use the old school history term called turn coat. It means like you're a fucking coward. It means like you're not brave. It means like you're just dumb. When you come back to the United States, don't be surprised. Like, you're going to have a lot of, like, Asian people looking for you. I wouldn't even pass it. If they do, they do. If they don't, they don't. But they're probably not going to because you already got your ass handed to you. You already had water thrown on you. You already been confronted. It's just a matter of when are you going to stop and realize like these people over there are not playing. These people just want to go to work, go to their families, and be left alone. They don't need someone like you to interrupt their daily life because some black American come over, made a YouTube video or TikTok video, and said some racist stuff, and insult their culture. And then. You think it's all fun and games. But it ain't fun and games when you got attacked. Was it? It wasn't fun and games. When. That's much better. When you. Got confronted. It ain't fun and games when you had your tail between your legs. When a bunch of guys roll up at your house, one stripped down butt naked to fight you. You're like, oh, no, 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 no. I don't want to fight. I don't want to fight. What are you going to do when they, if they wanted to fight you and you're at, and you're like, oh, no, no, I don't want to fight. What are you and then you said something, oh, yo, if we could fight, we could do this. They're, they might, might not want to fight you, but if you called them out, Actually, they got you, called you out. That's how it worked. Yeah, they called you out, and you had your tail between your legs. And you're, like, outside your house. Oh, all scared. Oh, no. Christian, on your shirt. Oh, my God. What am I going to do? Get your ass beat. Take that L and, take, and get on a plane. Come back to the U.S. Take that L. Hide. Lay low for years. Don't even leave your house. Just tell your friends. Those, um, you'll see them when you see them. Um, just don't leave your house. Period. Because once you leave your house, you become the, another moving target. Because you insulted a culture. A culture that we are friends with. Bad enough that we already had what's her name, or Brittany Griner, Griner, whatever her name is, that WNBA basketball player, went over there to, um, oh, I didn't know I had a small amount of weed in my persons, in my luggage, went over to Russia. I know, there's some things that, um, we have a lot of American people over there that, 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 that did fucked up, that should be here to face their crime, the thing what they did, they did fucked up. Oh, but we have to have her back. But we got American people over there that we've been trying to get back. But a basketball player? That's another that's another topic. Another topic. It just infuriates me. And I'm sure a lot of people are all upset about that whole situation.
but but let's get back to this streamer. I think his name is Sam. I think that's a, that's a, I think that's what they said on YouTube. I don't know. They could be Sam, but you fucked up big time. It's like, why would you do and say things like that on a train? These people ain't bothering you. You bother one person, posting it online, and then after that, another um, passenger, he said he's Korean. And you had the audacity to ask him where he's from, where he's originally from, and none of your damn business. They found out the dude was from, he was born in the United States and he was from the big old state of Texas. And he was defending a passenger, telling him um, to leave the passenger alone. He was so calm and collected. Then after that, you said some other racist things about like the Korean War. And then you said something, and before that, you said something, a racist thing about, um, you know what we did to you? Like, something about, like, um, Nagasaki, yeah, yeah, Nagasaki, something like that. First of all, you should have never had said that. Yeah, um, I'm not going to get into it. Just, that was just uncalled for. He was on... Uh, just he was just on the subway train just trying to go to work or go home to his family and here you are running your mouth and thinking like it's okay but when you have your tail between your legs with a tail between your legs and getting ready the shit breaks and I, you guarantee you probably did when one dude rolled up mm, on a motorcycle you got scared you were on a, like, not a dark alley, but a lit up, kind of like a lit up dark street, side street. You turned your back around, dude got off his motorcycle and rolled up on you. <laughs> like, he's going to get ready to fight you. I hope he did, but it fucked you up because you deserved it. You deserve a beating. Not a death beating, but a beating to tell you the next time you run your mouth, this is what's going to happen. We're going to put you in the hospital. That's what these dudes were going to do to you. They're going to put you in a hospital. Teach you a valuable lesson. You don't just go over there and make fun of another culture. What are you, stupid? First of all, when you make fun of that culture, not only do they have family over there, but they also have family here in the U.S., so, wherever state... Oh, yeah, oh, that's right. You're from Arizona. Let's see. They didn't say what well, part of Arizona. But wherever part of Arizona you live in, and when you go to try to get some um, Asian food, you ain't getting it. That's a fact. It only takes one phone call from overseas to Arizona. All they have to do is, uh, you're sitting down with your homeboys and tell them about the trip and, and an employee looks on their phone and recognizes you and before you get your meal they will tell you and your friends that you guys are going to have to leave. Or they might say, you guys can stay. Tell your friends they can stay, but he has to go. And then it could be like, it could be go good. And the conversations will go good. Or the conversation could go south. It all depends on how that conversation goes. Um... I gotta charge up my controller. It's um, getting got one cell left. So the conversation 
could go really bad. And by him, I'll just put it right here. Um, by him being with his friends with an S on his chest. I don't know if his friends going to defend you, defend him. Excuse me. Yeah. Defend him. Or they can say, listen, man, um, these are some good people. What you did over there is going to totally unnecessarily. And, um, it's, it's fucked up that how you did that to these people over there. Maybe one of them or a group of them could be like, man, man, what you did over there was stupid. That was just so dumb. If they cared, they was like, yo, this is a spot that we go always go to. Um, they have respect for us. We have respect for them. They got good quality food here. But you want to go over there and disrespect their culture? Man... That ain't cool with us. Here's the thing. Your black ass is a moving target. Your black ass is going to be attacked every day. When you go to the airport, they probably they might not attack you, but if you ever go to the bathroom, you will probably get attacked. You probably get confronted again and again and again and again. You know, they might put you in a van, drive you off somewhere. Who knows? You're in their country. You're in their territory. It's not like you can just have one of your friends like, hey, I need you to call the UN. Uh, for what? Oh, uh, I just got adopted and I said some stupid things. While your friends sent home, they ain't thinking about you. I mean, they probably are, but they're most likely like, man, he is stupid. <laughs> I can't believe he went over there to make fun of those people. Why? What was his goal to go over there? Any normal person that I, that's into... I mean, I used to be into anime, but I'm kind of a not really. I grew up watching some of it, but it's not really my thing. Um, I grew up around different people. I grew up in an all-black neighborhood. I grew up around Spanish people. I grew up around white people. I grew up around... Asian people and in fact um, I had two friends of mine I don't know where they are right now but I knew a group of Asian people um, but I knew before that before the Asian group of people that I went to school with I um, met one person. He was um, from Vietnam. Great person, great family. And then after that, I met, um, I think he introduced me to another person, a friend of his, who is from Laos, if I'm right or wrong. Laos. Or Korean or Japan. But either way, he, he had all his, I um I never had Chinese food before. Back then, you can say Chinese food. I never had it. Fast forward, you can't say that. You can say Asian food now. But back then in the eighties it was different. Um and the nineties were different. Things were different. There was no none of this all technology stuff. There was, but it wasn't like cameras or anything. But people that I grew up with, the ones that I just mentioned, um, I I respected their culture. They respected my culture and my friends and everything else. 
and um, I knew who these people are. I knew and understand their culture. I understand um, the history. So it was like back then in the 80s and the 90s, we were just all getting along. That's all it that's all it was. Fast forward. I do business in different other places and um, there's this I ate at um, I also have a favorite too. And um, me and my girl we went there and there's a nice uh, it was at the mall and it was a really nice um, Asian food place and it's we went there like last year I think and it was nice the food was really good and um, then we went to another one where I know the whole family and they're really nice people and then after that um, before that, I went to this all-you-can-eat buffet, and, like, the food was great, so, you never know when you are going to be in a, like, when you do and go out to eat, and you say some racist things to another culture, don't be surprised, like, you be the most hated person right now. That guy, he is the most disliked person over there, over in the Asian country. Because they already know who he is. Because he said some racist shit that he should have never had said. And thinking like he's going to get away with that? No. When they confront you, you better take that L. Um, another thing. Though, the, like, when you say rude and racist stuff to another culture, and you expect nothing's not going to happen, like, they're just going to, like, forget about you, nope, they're going to find you, they're going to know where you live, and they went to your house, and you had nothing to say, your back was against the wall, if you if you guys were to gotten if he would have gotten into a fight, sorry. If he would have gotten into a fight with those um, those Asian guys that came to his doorstep for the second time, yes, twice they came to his doorstep, and then um, what are you gonna do? You're just one person amongst all of those. Amongst all of them. It's kind of like. I'm going to use Boston for example. Boston. Is like. This. I, we all been to Boston. We all know what's it like down there. Right. We all been there. You leave them alone. They leave you alone. You bother them. They're going to bother you. It's kind of like. Um, a bee's nest. Do you bother them? They're going to bother you worse. Just like over there. He is a moving target. They're going to be, they're going to, they're going to mess with him. They're going to come up to him. They're going to do some, they already know who he is. So he's been posting stuff been happening to him. And for his um, for his stupidness and his ignorance of making fun of a culture like um, that we're friends with that our government is friends with and you have someone like that go over and make fun of again 
if he ever gets kidnapped or mysteriously turned up missing because of his stoop to pettiness of his antics as using some racial um, things to say about two different cultures they're not cool with that over there they're not cool with that over there at all so let this be a lesson to anybody that go over to any other country and you're going to say some rude stuff Remember, you're in their territory, you're in their backyard, you're in their um, domain, and you are in their realm. They can do whatever they want to you. You can try to call the cops. They're not going to be there really quick, like somewhat here in the U.S. You're over in, in a different part of the world. Where the other side of the world will know who you are. And the other side of the world probably don't give a fuck about you. Because you want to use some racist stuff to say. Now you have to constantly go outside, post videos, and now you have to make sure that you're not going to be attacked. But I guarantee you this. Not only did you had water spilled, got not spilled, but thrown at you. I wouldn't be surprised that the next time they might throw some feces at you, or you already got hit live on, on your own channel. Like someone came up behind you and went pop, clocked you one in the back of your head, and you're like, whoa, 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 what's going on? Your camera. Your phone went everywhere. And you're like, whoa, what's going on? And then after that, it looked like you're speed walking or running. And saying, like, oh, I got hit in the back of the head. Yeah, you deserved it. You deserved that hit. That's, that hit was a warning. The next time you think uh, two different groups or the same group of different guys come to your house while you're going outside put a bag over your head put you in a van tie you up bring you somewhere and they're gonna have some fun with you and they're gonna just once you get your ass beat and take that out they um gonna post it the video of you being hit or attacked and then after that you're not gonna be in the city they're gonna make you walk back from point a to point c i'm just saying that could happen but you should bring your black ass back here in the u.s lay low for years to come maybe 80 plus years and then when you decide to be a man you should go on national tv on the news and then say i apologize for what i said it was stupid of me and I am sorry for offending of two different cultures and I am sorry for offending a whole um, different cultures that we are friends with. But yeah, we're burning dust. Never going to happen because you can't sit there and an apology, apologize, sorry, for your own actions. But, you know, that's on on you. I ain't gonna say be safe because that's not gonna happen. And um, you gotta take that out. So all I gotta say is just take that out and um, just take a beating. That's all I can say because you ran your mouth 
to two different cultures, two different people. And you decided to think like it was okay. And look what happened to you. All I got to say is, I don't feel sorry for you. Not 100%, I do not feel sorry for you. I already saw the video. You made yourself look stupid. You made yourself look like a fool. You made yourself look like a jackass. You made yourself look like um, a piece of shit. You made yourself look like um, what's the, a dumbass. You look stupid. And you brought this upon yourself. When you come back, if you come back, if you come back, again, I hope you do not order any um, Asian food because they already know who you are. They have family over there. They have family right over here, right here in the U.S. So while you're sitting there making fun of two different cultures, knowing that they have family here in the U.S., especially that um, Korean guy from Texas. And Texas is not that far from Arizona. He has family in Texas. Family, his friends, they all already know who you are. So either way, they might mess with you or might not. But you can't say it's a hate crime here in the United States because they got you on video. Actually, you posted yourself on video. You actually you actually incriminate yourself. What do you know? They're gonna you come over back here to US, you get attacked in Arizona. You can't call well, I mean, you can't call the cops and say, oh, I'm going to press charges and stuff, and it's a hate crime. Yeah, good luck with that, because you just incriminate your own self. You made yourself um, look dumb and stupid. Don't try to sit there and, like, you're the victim. No, you victimize a whole country by what you had said to two different people. You um, victimized the Japanese culture and the Korean culture. You victimized not only just those two cultures, but the whole Asian culture. You victimized that, that whole um, country by using some racist, um, things saying some racist things saying that's just a meat wagon going by I live a half a mile from the hospital um, the ambulance I call it the meat wagon the big red truck that's the water truck um, but yeah. If you ever come back to the United States, you better lay low for years. You should never leave your fucking house. Because you leave your house, you're going to have to have one of your friends order you food or bring you food. I mean, you can go outside, but I, you should not go anywhere in public. You should go get your mail and go back in. That's all you need to do. Do not go out in public. If you do go out in public, not only you put your friends at risk, but they'll find out who your family is because of your dumb ass. Because you want to use some, use not some, but say some racist things to two different cultures. To a Japanese guy and a Korean guy. Just leave those people alone, man. Because one day, one day, that's all it takes. You're going to need something 
from them. But what you had did, they're not going to even help you. I wouldn't help you. If you if I saw you, I would never ever help you. I'd be like, nah, man, I'm good. I am so good. And if I'm going into a store and I see you, let's say if I go like visit Arizona because I got family out there, and uh, if I saw you and I um, and I recorded you, like oh yeah, you're that dumbass that went over. Um, made fun of two different cultures, a J Japanese guy and a Korean guy, and they go oh, yeah. and we had that conversation like, nah, man, that that is so immature, and I'm surprised you're still alive right now. <laughs> right now, he's already a marksman. <laughs> because I'm laughing because he deserved it. He deserved that. Um, he deserved. He had. Got water thrown at him. He deserved that. He got. He deserved to get hit. He got hit, and it showed it on. You can watch it on YouTube video that, that he posted it online. Someone hit him in the back of the head or the side right here, and all you see like, oh, what happened? And then he got scared. He got shook really bad. Like when one group showed up on his doorstep, he shit bricks. Another dude, actually, yeah. Um, no, this happened three times. That's right, three times, three different times. Because the first time, yeah, if I'm thinking of this thing, it's three or two. Either way, two different groups. So three different groups. No, yeah, yeah, sorry, three times. The first group showed up. They were, he was like, hey, you want to you do this? Yeah, get your ass beat. Take that out and get a, get a beating. They're gonna make you a bitch. Basically, that's what they did. You you became their bitch. Um, you got hit, got water thrown on you. So basically, you're a bitch because you can't sit there and keep your mouth shut and you have to use some racist things. You became their bitch. Um. You didn't, you're like, oh, I don't want to fight. I don't want to fight. The first time, you didn't want to fight. But you now, but now the second time, um, you said, like, oh, yeah, we can do this. But fun guy decided to take his clothes off and butt naked. And I'm like, you know, that's just too much. That's just nuts. And then the third time, when they roll up on your house, um, they had brought a translator and, um, you were still shitting bricks. You shit bricks. You shit bricks. Well, you didn't really shit bricks. You got had some shit in your underwear that a guy on a motorcycle rolled up on you. And um, he was not having it that night. He was like, what do you do? Do you want to call the cops? <laughs> they do. By the time you get um, your ass handed to you, that dude's already gone. He's already he's gone. He'll leave you there um, all banged up and stuff. But if he, if his buddies showed up, then he would just say, well, hey, this is the guy right here that made um, some racist stuff on YouTube, on his channel. And they would join in. They would fuck you up. And then they'll right off into the darkness. You'll never see them again. Because you don't know what these you don't know what they look like. You got attacked. One guy, he would have fucked you up, rode off in the sunset or into the darkness. You will never see him again. You know, you don't know your surroundings. You don't know what type of people you're dealing with over there. You don't know anybody over there. But you're just going to go over to a country and you're going to run your mouth to two different cultures. Japanese and the Korean. So you victimize two different cultures. And you think that it's okay. And you think that this is all fun and games. Well, this is the reality of it. 
if you get attacked again and again and again and you post these videos and stuff of you being attacked or um, or assaulted it's all on you you made your bed now you're gonna have to lie in it I don't feel bad for you whatsoever so I'm not gonna say be safe you don't deserve that word you don't deserve a word from me to say good luck you don't deserve that you're just gonna have to just take it out I'm not gonna sit here and say oh you need to watch your back no you don't need to deserve that either because you brought this upon yourself it's a damn shame it's a damn shame you make me look bad because you had to go over there and fuck with the two different cultures, two different people, just minding your own business. You you make us look bad. You really do. It's a damn shame, man. You make us look bad. Bad enough, we we deal with so much right now. We've been dealing with not right now. I take that back. We've been dealing with this stuff for centuries to come. We don't need um, you to go over and fuck with a Japanese person and a Korean person. We don't need you. You just leave those people alone because one day you might need... Let's just say that I, you, since you're over there, let's say something happened to you. You're in their territory. You, you just say that something happens to you. Maybe someone might have a heart over there, might help you, but they might just close their doors on you. Here, we can help you, but we wouldn't like the idea of what you had did. I wouldn't help you. That's just me. I'm just being honest. I would never help you because What you do to somebody is going to come back on you a thousand folds. And look what just happened. A thousand folds came and knocked on his door and he got the worst karma ever. He got the worst karma than fucking Karen on his YouTube channels. His karma got to him really quick and really fast. And he had to learn karma the hard way. Like, literally, the hard way. They made him a bitch. They made him get on his knees and apologize. But he couldn't sincerely apologize? Nope. I don't feel sorry. That's all I gotta say. You became their bitch. And you're all gonna make a rap video of it. <laughs> I, I, just, I didn't even want to see the rap video because it's your fault. You brought war and a battle to your doorstep. You brought war to your to your own doorstep. You brought a lot of hate and discontent to your own doorstep. Let's take that out. And um, I don't feel sorry for you. You're a goddamn fucking fool fucking idiot.